Okay. Hey there YouTube, this is Aisha and this is going to be a author spotlight. Now I believe I'll be doing a ton of these as well as doing recommendations based on certain books or certain TV shows that I absolutely love. And my first author spotlight is going to be Karen Marie Moaning. Um, and this is her Highlander series and that's Highlander's Touch. Spell of a Highlander, Beyond the Highland Mist, um, The Dark Highlander, The Immortal Highlander, <laughs> I'm going to drop these, I can tell, um, To Tame a Highland Warrior, and Kiss of a Highlander. Now there's two more books in this series, and I do own them, I just can't find them. <laughs> and these series have to do with, well, Highlanders. Not just Highlanders, but fairies! And I love fairies. And um, we're not talking thin wings and tiny fairies. We're talking the fae. As in badass, tall, gorgeous, and scary. Um, both light fae and dark fae. Um, these are romantic, uh, paranormal, um, sci-fi suspense. And these are considered, um, like, in a contemporary world, um, our everyday world. So I guess like a magical realism where fairies belong in the everyday world. Um, people don't know about them. Kind of like how we know they exist now, or some people believe they exist, but we can't prove it. Um, and if you can, you probably don't want to talk about it. So these fae are the she, um, S-I-D-H-E. Um, and there's the unseely or the seely or the good and the bad. And if you know anything about the fairies, seely or unseely means Jack Dudley squat. Like they are good and bad in both areas, but some are considered light fairy. Some are considered dark fairy. Um, it's just based on their magic and who their king and queen are. Um, but Karen Marie Moaning writes phenomenally. I've personally enjoyed her writing. I binge read these books. Um, I originally borrowed them from the library and I ended up binge reading all the copies that the library had and then going out and collecting them for myself. And as you can see, some of them are well loved. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed this series. Now these are not necessarily sequels. They are sort of more companion novels where, um, we meet different family members and then either their sibling will get their story or another fae that was discussed in the book will get their story or even just their ancestor's story will be told which will explain why they happened or what happened to them happened. Um, Karen does a really good job of laying foundation for stories within each story. So each story can be read on its own and then um, you can pick up the thread in another story and we get bits and pieces of characters from each story. So you can read them consecutively and how they've been published. Or you can just pick them up at any spot. And I kind of picked them up at any spot. And I have my favorite, of course. And my favorite is Adam. And he is um, Adam Black in The Immortal Highlander. And this story is one of my favorites out of the entire series. And this one is a fae, he's fae, and the woman um, he meets is a she-seer. Um, and if you know anything about fairies, um, you know that the fae don't like people who can see them. And people who can see, mortals who can see them tend to be kidnapped. Um, and she knows about them. And, you know, she'd grown up with the adage that you don't let them know that you can see them. And she inadvertently lets Adam know, and Adam now has a job to snatch her and bring her into the Unseelie Mound. And it's just the adventure of their life leading up to this. We, of course, get to see the Fairy Queen and um, a few other characters from other stories. Um, Adam is a big character in almost every other story in the series um, because he is that badass fae that everyone talks about and no one wants to meet. And just having his story was really awesome. My other favorite one is Dagus, the Dark Highlander. 
And Degas McLean McKelter um, is a brother of another character, and he, um, there are rules and regulations as a druid. He's a druid, and um, this is one of the reasons I love this story. Um, he's a druid, <laughs> and um, he does some seriously bad stuff with good intentions and the repercussions ripple across the storylines of so many other people and um there's time travel in here there is love there are spells gone awry and there's some badass fairies coming for him in this one the next one is to tame a highland warrior in this um this is uh gavril's story and this is another um he's not a brother to dagus but he's another family in the Highlands who um, is aware of the presence of the Fae and it's just um, I hate that that's that sticker that never comes off um, <laughs> uh, and his story kind of helps give us the background for the McKelter story um, and we get to meet Adam in here and it's just amazing Beyond the Highland Mist is, I believe, the first one. So the series actually kicks off with Kiss of the Highlander, and just look at his luscious lips. And this is Duncan McKelter's story, and his brother Dagus is the one that really his actions ripple across all the storylines. Um, Kiss of the Highland is Duncan's story, and Duncan, of course, is a druid, and we get his story, and. Um, this one includes some archaeology archaeological digs and finds and traveling between um we learn history and see the present and the past and it's just i love it love it love it love it and then we have beyond the highland miss and this one is hawk's story this one is a this one's a historical one, um, so this one's in the past, whereas the others are more contemporary. This is in the past with a paranormal kick. This one is the old cover, um, and I already started collecting them when they had done them in this kind of cover. Um, and this is the only one I couldn't find in the, the new covers. And this is the Highlander's Touch. And this is... The story is time travel, as you can tell by that um in this one a young woman finds it uh something that brings her back 700 years into the past and her going back creates the other stories and just time is a continuum it's not a straight line that's what this one is and the very last one that i have read and can vouch for is spell of the highlander and this one is um, the descendants of the McKelters.